Maybe tomorrow too. I know. Bigger pieces, huh? Yeah, bigger ones too. Mm -hmm. They're so smart. Nice. Mm -hmm. Like a bouquet of flowers. Alright, today we're gonna tackle the shed. It's a nice day, it's like 60 degrees. And I know it's gonna get colder in the future here, but I still wanna get the, the boat pulled out and swap the snowmobiles and the boat and the snow blowers and all that kind of stuff. Which I never even used this whole winter. I never used the snowmobiles once or the snow blowers once, so it's kind of an interesting thing. Sometimes it's just quicker to use this thing. It's kind of cool. It's an old hand pump, but it's really old. I'm not even sure what kind it is or anything like that, but it's all metal. It's just got a rubber, rubber pump on the inside and it never breaks and always works. And it's quicker than getting the air compressor out and filling that up with air and all for just a few pounds of pressure. So this thing's pretty sweet. Chicken. This chicken over here. We got a chicken, color black top, and she thinks that she needs to be laying in the shed instead of in her coop. And I'm really pissing her off today because I just removed the tarp that she hid underneath.
<laughs> Are you kidding me? This isn't a sponge, this is a rig, you crazy bird. What do you think you're gonna do with that? Well, I found a spot where one of our chickens laying all their eggs in here. And I had all this, you know, all this stuff here was over here. Now I can see. And a whole bunch of eggs there. They're definitely not good to keep because they're like wet and stuff and you know that is. Yep. A whole pile of them. How many were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, one more than I thought. Rooster. And then we have like more generators to get rid of and that other lawnmower that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Is he laying an egg now? He does that sometimes. It's really weird. Is there eggs back there? Something? How are you doing, Mr. Man? He does that. It's something he does every time I go in to get them treats. Yeah. He goes in the red shed and does the exact same thing. I don't know. I think it's excitement. Could be. Yeah. He acts These well. chickens think it's a jungle gym in here. Oh yeah. This one, now it's in my toolbox. Well, they are your birds, so I can imagine they're a little weird. Weird bird. Lens. Yep. Yep. Kissing cousins right there. 
You know, they're not brother and sister, those snowblowers, but they are related in some way, shape, or form. That's not good. Not good at all. See how we got our swap now. We got the sleds in, snow blowers under there, bikes switched out, golf clubs switched out. Now I'm just gonna try to get this backed in here as tight as we can. That is not how I thought that was going to go at all. Okay, so today I'm going to start my seeds. Um, I have quite a few that I'm going to start. And I've actually taken the time this year to completely wash and sanitize my tray. I'm hoping that helps um, just prevent any diseases from killing off the little shoots, which last year I did have some issues with some of my starters. I mean, it was still a great year but um I did have some failures that was frustrating in the spring so I this year I'm just gonna wash all my trays and sanitize them that's what I read to do so today I'm gonna plant celery lettuce 
and broccoli as far as vegetables go. And then I have an herb that I'm going to plant, and that's lavender. Um, but lavender, there's a trick to, I guess, uh, what I was reading. Um, I did a little research on it, and supposedly to make the seed think it's winter, you put it in a wet paper towel and then put it in the refrigerator for three weeks. So I'm going to start that process today. And then the last three is just um, flowers. So coneflower, delphinium, and then Johnny Jump Up. Johnny Jump Up supposed to be a spring, like an early bloomer. So that might be nice. Stand on that old four-wheeler over there. Yeah, one. Like you're gonna drive it. Yeah. Obviously, you don't sit and stand. Walk that park. Get more in the To show you guys what we're doing here. We are going to take off the shaft here. My boot broke. I have to bag around it so that uh, I didn't ruin the shaft. It's just the boots bad. I have extra boots and extra shafts but the boots are hard to change over so I'm just going to take a shaft off of here and put it on there. It's the same machine. It's my parts machine. I got it when I bought it. I think I paid 1500 bucks for the wheeler and it came with the parts machine. That's why I ended up buying it. For stuff like this, something happens, I have the part there. I don't have to worry about trying to find it or nothing. Both boots are still good. That's what I need. I'll take them out of both sides though, so that way I just have them both out. Two boots are, I mean, they're, they're weathered, but it doesn't take but a few minutes to change these over. Been repaired here and here. <laughs> the shaft's actually good still, it's just the boot's bad.
Okay, I'm doing celery first. Seeds are super little. Celery. I'm still gonna use a few in each cell. Alright, here we go. This broccoli the seed. Johnny jump ups. Now just put a little sprinkle some soil on top. The next one is delphinium. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Really pretty. And it's also a perennial, so it's supposed to come back every year. We'll see. See the seeds? Purple cone flower. Purple cone flower is a native plant to this area. I am pretty sure I should look it up. Echinacea. So this is also, you're able to eat this in your tea. Wow. Well, that's a very interesting seed. Look at this seed. Huh. Spread it on here. All right, there we go. Okay, so obviously it is way too cold out still in March to leave them out here in this greenhouse. So I'm gonna be bringing them all in the house and then I will be hooking up some lights and Hoping that they grow. Brakes bled. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. I tried to have my wife help and my son help, and that didn't work because it kept getting air back in the lines, and I kept thinking it was something they were doing, which is probably not very good of me. But what happened is that actually the master cylinder was leaking air around the cap, so every time you would squeeze it, it would push a little fluid out the cap and then suck air back in. So it just kept trying to bleed the brakes bleed the brakes kept being air in it and uh, finally I figured out it was leaking out of the reservoir cap so anyways we got that figured out now I just got to put the tires back on and we'll be done You can see the new shaft is in there. Looks like everything's working fine. Here's the old one. 
All right, it's time to do some other chores. I got to put the parts machine away too, which ought to be interesting because there's no wheels on it. Take it for a little test run. Make sure it works. 